the radio of my mind. When a child, I often looked through the pierced back of the wireless set, fascinated by valves festooned with dust and cobwebs. It seemed like a miniature laboratory, ancient and deserted, where, if I could shrink, I might make discoveries in a white coat to change the world. Nowadays we call them radios. They are dust-free and have many stations and no valves. And I know that I can change nothing. I do not own a radio. But in my mind I have perfect reception. Loud and clear. Too perfect. I listen to the tiny radio in my mind. It is loudest when I am alone. Too loud, too clear. I hear the music and the stories of old joyful times, the lost happy times. Soon it will change to sombre echoes of the cruel remarks and actions of those people that I most loved. I long for the crackle of static to subdue those spine-sweating memories of mistakes and reproaches, the repeat broadcasts of stupidities and regrets, all the hopeless, useless, miserable past. It's so loud, so clear, and I cannot adjust the volume. I cannot switch it off. I wish that I could find a skilled engineer to fix the radio of my mind. <laughs>